In a previous video, we tested Amazon Basics full synthetic engine oil against Mobile One, and it did a very good job. However, we tested 10W30, not 5W30, and this is the 5W30 showdown. So today we're gonna to be competing Amazon Basics Full Synthetic against Liquimali, a brand that comes from Germany that's supposed to be extremely good. So let's get the testing underway and see just how good this Liquimali is compared to Amazon Basics. In the first test, we'll measure cold temperature oil flow. When the engine is first started, we want the oil flowing as quickly as possible to begin lubricating moving parts. While not able to test products using expensive test equipment used for ASTM, SAE, or API testing, there are some oil properties that can easily be tested to compare oil performance. There are many important functions of engine oil, and the three that we'll be measuring include the ability to handle exposure to heat, wear resistance or film strength, and cold flow performance of new as well as oil that's been exposed to heat. So I'll place the oil in a freezer that's set to 15 below zero Fahrenheit and leave it in there for 24 hours. Later in the video, we'll compete these two brands to see which one has the best cold flow performance. In the previous video comparing synthetic oils from Amazon Basics and Mobile One, I explained the American Petroleum Institute donut along with two important pieces of information including the viscosity grade and the two digit code. Costing $13.50 for one liter or $45 for a five liter container, Liquid Molly 5W30 Top Tech 4200 is a synthetic oil designed for both gasoline and diesel engines. Since this product is manufactured in Germany, it meets many European oil specifications. It also meets API SN specifications. While test equipment doesn't simulate engine operating conditions perfectly, the Lubricity Tester will provide us with some great information on oil performance when it comes to film strength. I put together a video a while back on how the Lubricity Tester works, so please consider checking it out. The Lubricity Test will last right at 10 minutes. During the test, we'll be making sure the bearing is receiving a constant supply of oil and watching the bearing temperature and energy usage as well. Before we begin the test, I'm going to first calibrate the weight scales and then weigh each bearing. After the test, I'll measure the amount of scoring on each bearing by taking a weight measure and then measuring the size of the wear scar. Costing only $19.99 for a 5-quart container, which is less than half the price of the Liquid Molly, can Amazon Basics possibly outperform its high-dollar competitor? The Amazon Basics Full Synthetic 5W30 meets Generation 2 Dexos 1 certification API SN Plus and ILSAC GF5 specifications. It claims to be formulated for longer drain intervals and is designed to prevent low-speed pre-ignition and turbocharged direct injection engines. It also claims to provide outstanding protection in cold climates. So who packages the oil for Amazon? Warren Distribution, a company located in Omaha, Nebraska that's been in business since 1922. Having been in business for nearly 100 years, they've survived the test of time, but can their low-priced oil outperform a premium-priced brand like Liquimali? Well, we're about to find out. Now that the test is complete, I'll weigh each bearing and I'll also measure the size of the wear scar. 
Liquid Molly is on the left and Amazon Basics is on the right. And all I can say is, wow, Amazon Basics really did a lot better job than Liquid Molly on this test. It's been right at 24 hours, so let's get the testing underway. Amazon Basics is on the left and Liquid Molly is on the right. Amazon Basics is first to make contact with the oil slide and it isn't waiting around for Liquid Molly. Considering the price difference, Amazon is the clear underdog in this showdown and seems to have something to prove to its more expensive competition. Relying on its worn distribution pedigree, Amazon hits the hammer on the home stretch, finishing ahead of Lupa Molly by an inch. Very impressive. In the next test, we're going to see just how well each brand of oil can tolerate heat. Before we begin the test, I'll be weighing each coffee pot before the test, then adding approximately 200 grams of oil into each container. After the test, I'll weigh each container again to calculate oil loss caused by the heat. So why this test? Oil that evaporates quickly isn't going to protect your vehicle's engine and keep it running smoothly compared to oil that can handle the heat. The appropriate test to measure evaporative loss is known as the NOAC volatility test, which exposes oil to 482 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour to simulate conditions in and around the top of piston rings of engines. So what happens when oil vaporizes excessively? It becomes thicker and heavier, contributing to poor oil circulation, reduced fuel economy, increased oil consumption, wear and emissions. Since I don't have this special piece of test equipment, I'm only going to heat up the oil to around 375 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. I'll be rotating the oil containers every five minutes just in case there are hot spots on the griddle. In addition to rotating the oil containers on the griddle every five minutes, throughout the test I'll be measuring the temperature of each oil container just to make sure the temperatures of each oil are very similar. Throughout the test, the amount of vapor coming out of each container appeared to be about the same. However, there's only one way to find out. Okay, it's been right at two hours, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove these coffee pots from the griddle, allow them to cool, and then we'll add the oil back into the tester for the cold flow test. So we're gonna go ahead and weigh each container. Amazon started off at 416.96. It now weighs 414.44. Liquid Molly started off at 407 grams, it now weighs 404.52. That's a loss of 2.48 grams. So Liquid Molly barely won this competition by a fraction of gram. Just because both oils experience nearly the same amount of evaporative loss doesn't mean that the cooked oil will perform equal for cold flow. So we're going to once again compare new oil performance to see if the outcome is the same, and we'll compare the cooked oil performance against new oil. So I'll go ahead and place the oil back in the freezer for another 24 hours. It's been right at 24 hours, so let's get the testing underway. Amazon Basics is on the left, Liquid Molly is in the second lane, Cooked Amazon is in the third lane, and Cooked Liquid Molly is on the right. The new Amazon Basics is the first to make contact with the oil slide, then new Liquid Molly barely beats the Cooked Amazon Basics. It's a very tight race at first in the left three lanes, but not for long. Just like the first race, the new Amazon Basics didn't wait around for Liquid Molly and is in the lead. The new Liquid Molly and the Cooked Amazon Basics are neck and neck. The Cooked Liquid Molly is in a distant fourth place. The new Amazon Basics is now taking a commanding lead over the new Liquid Molly and the cooked Amazon Basics is barely ahead of the new Liquid Molly. Just like the first race, the new Amazon Basics wins over the new Liquid Molly by around an inch. The used Amazon barely beats the new Liquid Molly. Finally, the new Liquid Molly beats the used Liquid Molly by nearly an inch and a half. The playoff category winners now include AMS Oil, Redline, and Amazon Basics. They'll advance to the Elite Eight where the rigor involved in testing each brand is only going to become more intense. Well, it just goes to show you don't have to pay a lot to get a lot. If you have the right information, you can get a very good quality product for a great price. In this instance, Amazon Basics definitely won the competition in a very decided manner. I was really surprised that Amazon Basics did win in such a convincing manner. I was expecting a lot more out of Liquid Molly. Now, I'm not suggesting it isn't a great engine oil. It just did not do well in the testing that I did. And when you look at the evaporative loss testing, where it actually won in terms of the amount of oil evaporating off, unfortunately, once you retested that oil, it really seemed to slow down quite a bit, which is exactly what you do not want to have happen. The Amazon Basics oil, even though quite a bit of it evaporated off, it did continue to flow very well when it was very cold. That's exactly what you want. 
Anyway, I have a lot of fun doing these videos and I'm looking forward to the next showdown video on these engine oils. Also, I'm always looking for new video ideas. As you know, all my video ideas come from viewers. So if you have an idea, please let me know. As usual, just want to say thanks so much for watching the video. Please take care and I look forward to next time.